Hey, thanks for joining in. I'm Seth. Heading off to my third shift job for the seventh day in a row. And uh, I'm going for 19 days straight, which is insane. So uh, around here, we went three full weeks without a drop of rain. And now in the past three days, we've had almost 10 inches, crazy rain. Uh, so hopefully my grass will be growing really well. See my garden spot? It's terrible. I'm not a very good gardener and I want to improve. Whenever our house was put in, they cleared this hill off and pushed all of the good topsoil over here into the woods. So that pretty much left my garden with uh, just bad clay soil. So up here, my neighbor has been cleaning out the pond. Every year it fills up with silt and he goes through and just kind of dredges it out. And so I wanted to show you some really nice uh, rich soil. I'm thinking about taking the four-wheeler up here and getting a couple of loads uh, with the trailer and put it in the garden. Since, I mean, I tried to plant a garden this year and it has not done anything. And I feel comfortable just covering it up with fresh dirt. So uh, if it ever stops raining, we will load up the four-wheeler and get some of that nice soil. It's almost dark, so I apologize if it's grainy. Yeah, so here's where he's been cleaning out the pond. And you can see all this uh, really great soil right here on the side. Uh, I figured it was just really easy access and I might as well use it. Man, look at all that water. I bet that waterfall is just roaring over. Let's check it out here. Oh gosh. Yeah, that thing is usually just a trickle over that. So it is really pouring. That's really awesome. You can probably see this one a little bit better here. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, I am uh, late for work, so I'm gonna put the camera down before I hit the main road, and uh, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. I'm here at my parents' house. My mom's uh, gonna help me with a ram pump parts delivery order here in a little while. Uh, got a truck coming. Um, but in the meantime, I'm filming some stuff for my kids video and I've got the best help in the world. Emma's tossing rocks at me. So, uh, anyway, it should be interesting. I think on the next episode, I will try to find time to film without a two-year-old. But it's a learning experience for the first go-round, so we'll just see. Okay, false alarm. Uh, turns out my uh, parts order is just hitting the uh, US coast, so it's gonna be another week or better before they arrive to uh, my final destination. So uh, anyway, I might bring you along for that next week. But uh, I was able to get some of our uh, kids show filmed. I'll probably work on that this evening a little bit. And uh, just spent some time with my mom. That was at work, but it's rained again all day. Tomorrow, though, is uh, supposed to be pretty nice. I think 70 degrees and no rain. Uh, we've gotten uh, at least 10 inches, maybe up closer to 11, uh, which is a whole lot for a week, especially around here. But um, so anyway, I'm gonna go prepare to uh, go into work this evening in a few hours. And then um, tomorrow, I'll try to bring you along for something. I'm really thinking that it'd be nice to get some of that nice soil and put it over here in the garden space. But we will see uh, how well that goes. Our 10 inches of rain has come and gone and now it's a beautiful cloudless day. About 65 degrees out here and time to get some work done. Today, the plan is to finish up the staircase for the playhouse and then load up the four-wheeler and trailer and go get some of that nice soil down in the ponds to put into the garden. I just powered through the rest of the build of the playhouse steps. They turned out really nice. Uh, it's a very short uh, railing up there. I thought that uh, kids could handle these first two steps no problem before needing a rail. Um, but anyway, definitely gives me more confidence coming down from the top because uh, before, when it was just steps, this one, like a typical set of stairs has two of these, and so it's much wider. So that first step there, 
when you come off of here, it's kind of like, whoa, what do you do? So having this railing to hold on to uh, just makes it really nice. But I'm glad that's done. So now it's time to skirt off, well, some lunch first. Then I'm gonna grab the four-wheeler and trailer and we'll head down to the ponds and pull some soil uh, for the garden. I just, I started looking around. Um, sweet peas grew a little bit, but they taste bad. And uh, I've got a couple of little uh, cantaloupe that started and a couple of watermelons. So I'm gonna let those, I'm gonna hopefully put dirt around those, but not on them. And everything else, I'm just gonna try to shovel it in there and cover all these weeds. And then next year, when I till this up, it should have some nice, rich soil. That's the plan. Do you know what kind of beetle this is? When they hatch out, they attack and eat everything that you want to keep. Um, like this Japanese maple here. What I've heard you can do is dump them in some water. Like if you would take a, a mason jar of water and just dump them in there or something. But anyway... Um, there's a bunch of them. They were down there eating the sunflowers and the raspberries. Basically everything you want to keep, they uh, attack. Okay, so uh, Ashley and the kids just got home. It's helping her get some things ready. But I'm going to go ahead and get the four-wheeler and the cart ready. And then we will head on down the road. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention first, we'll stop down here. I just want to see if riding the four-wheeler and cart over the ram pump delivery pipe is going to cause any issues. So we may just stop there and throw some dirt on it just to keep us from destroying it with the, uh, the four-wheeler here. Okay, just getting my cart put onto the four-wheeler here. I have a video showing how I made this cart. It turned out pretty good. I don't know if I could have purchased one for the same price or not, but uh, I like it. So I figured I would just toss enough of that soil back here to uh, to do. I mean, it's the tires are supposed to hold, I think, 400 pounds each. So I can't exactly hold tons, but they seem to be in good shape. Let's grab a shovel and go for it. I just put a bungee here that holds that in place while I'm riding around. So my ramp pump comes up from the creek, crosses under the road, and then I just have the delivery pipe going up the hill. And I'm kind of afraid that if I just drive the four-wheeler over this multiple times, it's going to crush it or cause some issues. So I may just dig a little dirt on it for now and call it good. I was thinking I might put it into like a piece of conduit or something, but anyway. And before we head down here to the soil, I wanted to mention that I am eventually going to move my uh, four-wheeler and lawnmower into an actual shed that will be over in the woods there and the only problem I really have is that there is no access point from there to over here so what I was thinking was this post right here and the one over there make the garden that size so I'm cutting off all this right here this whole block basically so I can just drive the four-wheeler straight through here on the flat ground over there into the storage shed which uh, does drop down the size of the garden again from what it used to be. But um, just knowing how I've been for the past three years, I think a, a 20 by, what is that, 30, um, should still be plenty for me to, to grow stuff in. Um, so cut off here. I probably keep uh, a grape trellis running this way maybe and um, Anyway, we'll just have to see how that goes. So what I was getting at is that I'm gonna stop with the dirt here and just go this way. There's like eight feet or so. Let's see if I can get this just to lay in there. And it's only down maybe, I don't know, two inches or so. But I just figured that would be better than none. 
I'll just cover that back up and call it good. Back here up at the ponds, and you can see he's actually pulled out quite a lot. There's some sand in there, but most of this dirt is really nice, rich dirt. So I thought I would just start scooping it up, throw it in here. It won't hold much, but I guess it'll hold enough. So let's go ahead and start pulling some out of here. I was watching the video from the Green Acre Homestead. They're uh, friends of mine that are pretty close. And they get those uh, busted bag deals at uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, that kind of thing. But this, I think may be even better than a busted bag deal. So I imagine there's all kinds of microorganisms living in this stuff right here. Not sure what my homemade trailer is rated to, so I'm gonna stick with that as being a full load for now. I've had some logs on there that were quite heavy, but not sure it was that heavy. But anyway, this is a good start. Probably gonna take several loads of that. It's doing well so far. A lot less bouncy whenever it has this much dirt in it. The tires are just barely uh, sinking, so I think it could hold a lot more than this. The shaft for the tires are, uh, there is a three quarter inch, pretty strong. I think the tires are rated for 400 a piece. Okay, well that went pretty smooth. Let's see how the trailer is doing here. I just have a piece of PVC as a spacer in there, but I think it's doing well enough. That's probably about as much as I'll ever put on here. Maybe just a little bit more, because it didn't move around. Okay, I guess I'm just going to start off right here at the door and just start tossing dirt. Um, I can use a wheelbarrow later to spread it on in here further but um so let's just put this bar over here cool i won't go past that spot One thing I'm finding that I already really like about this is it's rock free, or at least uh, almost completely rock free. So that way, when I go to till this under, I shouldn't be hitting a lot of rocks. Okay, load number one complete, and uh, it covers not much. <laughs> it's probably gonna take like, I don't know, 15 loads to really get this covered well. Looks like the raspberries are turning real quick over here. Should I eat them all now or should I save some for Emma? I brought her out here yesterday and she says, uh, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> that one's about ready. Yeah. Yeah. I like me some raspberries. Wonder, these are also spreading out here this year. So hopefully they will have some on them next year. Go away, little bug. Cool, cool. Thought I would stop here for a second. There's a spring that runs pretty strong whenever it rains hard, like it has this past weekend. And uh, anyway, it kind of skips right here and goes into the road, and that's really annoying. So I'm just gonna take my shovel and dig out a little bit more off into the woods to keep this from happening. One of the very first videos here on the Land of House YouTube channel 
back when I had even less idea of what I was doing, <laughs> uh, it was cleaning out this spring. Um, it's been a long time. And uh, let's see, when my neighbor first moved in, they were using this spot over here as a turnaround. Nothing wrong with that. But they kept um, turning real wide in here and it kept uh, making ruts that would just send everything into the road. Um, so anyway, I'm now uh, just gonna clear it out some. Okay, maybe that'll last a good solid week or two. Just piled up all that muck there on the side and got it flowing pretty good downhill. I wonder if it's leaking out up here too. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Just wrapped up putting load number two down. It's pretty thin over there, but uh, not bad. So I think it's gonna be, you know, 10, 15, maybe even 20 loads to really get this place as thick as it needs to be. Um, but anyway, definitely a good start. And that's some nice, rich soil. Well, so I'm gonna stop there on uh, these loads of dirt. But uh, we had a lot of rain and the ram pump stopped. So I wanna head down to the creek and see what happened. I'm kind of assuming that the water got up so high, it moved the intake. Um, that's what usually happens, so let's go find out. Looks to me like that piece of flume is not gonna last much longer before it uh, comes uh, tumbling down from the base. The concrete block has been eaten away by the uh, water, but anyway, we'll deal with that as it comes. So, pump has definitely stopped, and it may be because the waste valve is covered with silt. So let's go ahead and walk up the creek and see if there's anything else keeping it from running. That's weird. This rock is halfway tumbled under. Yeah. Intake definitely has some issues going on. Huh, wonder what those are. Can you see them in there? They're growing. All right, let's look at the intake up here. Pretty much what I expected. You can see this white part of the intake. That's a three foot long, well, more like a two foot long pipe. And there's one next to it that's totally under. So see if I can brush some of that away real quick. Not great, but a lot better. Okay, uh, I'm also seeing that this pile of junk here is going to be an issue because it's an air pocket because it uh, raises up. So I'm going to clear that out and then we should, we should be good to go. Okay, hopefully we still have some movement in here. Good. Oh, hey, Salamander. Okay, lift this up real quick and drop it. You ever seen a bucket poop before? <laughs> oh man. All right, get that cleaned out. I yeah, found the check valve down there. Got it cleaned out. Everything is working right. Ashley's meeting a group of ladies in two hours for a church thing. Uh, so I need to go ahead and wrap up my stuff for today. I was asked to test out this tiny light. Um, so I've been charging it all day. Looks like the light's still on. Let's take this inside real quick and see what we get. The actual review for this light's coming up yet, but uh, you got on. Oh, I bet it has a, uh, a light sensor here. That might be cool. Hmm. Well, luckily I installed, wait, let's see what it says. Yeah, luckily I installed these blinds. Never have used them. See if it makes a difference here. Well, it's trying. And this is why we test stuff out first, right? Okay, so on a remote, let's try the three hour. Why are you blinking? Okay, yes, it has a dusk to dawn sensor. And when my sander was so close to the light, it uh, 
cause it to come on and off like that. So you can't have anything blocking it. Okay, so yeah, it's got um, settings here for different hours. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight hours. You can adjust the brightness to 30%. Uh, 60% and then 100% or there's a ramp setting you can adjust it very very slowly to different levels here um, let's see what the auto is maybe it's a hmm. cool but anyway um, let me turn on the light real quick you can turn it off Anyway, that review is going to come up after I've gone through all of its features. One thing I was thinking though, um, it's going to have the solar panel outside and then it's got a nice long cord that can go inside and this remote control could be velcroed to the wall of the playhouse. So the kids could just come in and push the button. And so what I would do is use some black tape to cover the sensor and that way um, they could play inside and have a nice light in there, even if it's getting darker outside. There's one last thing I want to do before Ashley heads off, and that is try to get the permanent lid off of this bucket. This is one of my, uh, uh, the place I work, they have uh, a washing machine, and this is the detergent from that. Um, but uh, my other bucket, you may have watched last week, I was trying to put holes in it and it cracked right there so I'm thinking I can use this one to uh, do that so but yeah the lid I've been using a, a knife to cut it and then using some wrenches to try and pull it off of there okay that took a couple minutes it's just a typical bucket there but that lid's actually really thick okay uh, man a lot more outside time than I'm used to it's kind of fun and these blinds worked out really well too um, okay, I actually need to uh, leave soon, so I'm going to go shower. I'm probably going to take the kids to uh, the grocery store, or as uh, Emma calls it, E-Mart. I guess you can't say wall. But, um, anyway, okay, on to the next thing. Just got back from my parents' house. Took uh, Arrow and Emma up there, and we played for a while. And uh, My sister, nephew, and niece, um, they're part of the little kids' YouTube channel I'm starting. Um, so I took the characters up there and uh, I got a couple more uh, voice assets for the, the show. Now, if you're watching Land of House, you probably don't give even a little care about a kid's YouTube channel, but it's fun. Uh, Emma was helping me move the characters around and helping with the voices and stuff. So I see it as it's going to be a fun family uh, project to do for the next couple of years, hopefully. And um, also, uh, kids channels bring in a lot of revenue, so uh, it may be um, it's uh, twofold. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog, I believe. I got some ram pump parts in. Uh, so I had a few of them sell this week. Uh, I guess the rain that hit was pretty widespread this past uh, week, and uh, so sales are a little down because so many people got the rain they were looking for. Uh, I need to see which one of these needs this gasoline more. I think this one's... Yeah, I think we're good in there. Let's put it in here. Um, after using the four-wheeler to move all that dirt, um, it's a little low, but I need to go ahead and get the oil changed in this thing. Um, so maybe I'll go ahead and uh, do a little research on the oil that's required and the filter and we can do that um, in a week or two that might be fun anyway uh, I've got five more days of third shift to do um, so I need to prepare for that this evening um, Ashley was feeling pretty bad so while we were gone she tried to sleep but she is uh, not used to sleeping during the day so didn't turn out very well um, but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, and we'll join back up next week for another one. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.